The Siskiyou Line West crosses the North Umpqua River Bridge as it approaches Roseburg on the morning of July 5, 1984. It looks like it's going to be another warm sunny day here in Southern Oregon, a great day for watching trains. The Siskiyou Line West, train symbol E-U-M-E-Y, left Eugene a few hours ago. It passes through Roseburg on its way to Medford. Several of the branches off the SP Main traverse the Oregon Coast Mountains and reach the Pacific Ocean. Now the most prominent of these is the Coos Bay Branch. Coos Bay is the largest deep water ocean port on the Pacific Coast between San Francisco and Seattle. The Coos Bay Branch was built in the early 1900s out of Eugene to Coos Bay by the Southern Pacific. But this branch actually began at Coos Bay as the Coos Bay, Roseburg, and Eastern in the 1890s. And it was originally planned to run from Coos Bay to Roseburg. So in my version of the Siskiyou line, I assume that's just what happened. So I'm engaging in some proto-freelancing. It works especially well to add operating interest since Roseburg is a focal point on my layout. This is the North Umpqua Bridge at Winchester, and it's just railroad east of Roseburg, and it marks the yard limits on the model for the Roseburg yard. I kit bashed three Central Valley truss kits to get this, this two span bridge, and it took me over a year's worth of spare time off and on, evenings and weekends, to build this bridge. One thing I've learned from building bridges on the Siskiyou line is that they take quite a long time. I tried to capture the exact prototype look in this scene at this location. And on the prototype, this is a favorite spot to do train watching. And I thought it would likewise be a great... And here on the other side of Tunnel 3 is the high bridge over the middle fork of the Coquille River. This is where I actually started construction of the layout in May of 1991. I was eager to do this scene because I figured it would look pretty interesting. It's loosely based on an actual scene on one of the SP Coast Branch lines. And so anyway, I built this scene and put in the scenery and everything because I wanted to see how it looked. This scene was photographed a lot in the first two or three years of the layout's existence because as I built the rest of the bridge. Take it slow across the trestle. No more than, say, about 15 miles per hour. Roger that. Since this is where I started the layout, this scene has been photographed a lot. This bridge, the canyon, and the tunnel, they all speak of mountain railroading. And though it's freelanced, it's right in keeping with what you see on the real Oregon Coast Railroad branches. Yeah, beautiful. Tunnel number three punches through Sugarloaf Mountain. That's named after a real mountain east of Myrtle Point. Highway 42 and King Creek run under this steel truss right here, and it's hard to believe, looking at this scene, that it's only nine inches deep over the tunnel. So how's she doing up that two and a half percent grade? Okay, let's uh, put some super glue on it. Now what I like to do is hit this with accelerator. Accelerator is actually kind of a light, like a light oil, so it'll actually make the mechanism work well. The throw looks really good. 